Hey everybody, it's June Simmons, back for day, I can't remember now, I think it's 12, I'll have to look when I when I post it, but either 11 or 12 of my video challenge, and tonight I just wanted to talk a little bit about, um, so I've been taking this life coaching course, I'm going to be, I'm getting certified to become a certified life coach, right? And I've, there's just been a lot of different things that I've been learning, a lot of crazy different things. And so I just wanted to share a little bit about um, some of the stuff that I'm learning. So this one part that I wanted to read you out of this lecture, it was about, um, it's crazy, but we respond more to our perception than we do reality. And, and it says that um, we often confuse perception with reality. Perception is the lens through which we view our reality. We commonly mistake how we understand things for how things really are in truth. Our thoughts and our feelings seem to be, seem real to us, so we conclude that they must be true. Now we view things, now how we view things is one of the 6.78 billion different ways to look at something. And if we need to change how we feel about something, we just need to change our perception. And that that is so true. I know that um, mindset is everything. And through, through everything that I've been through, let me tell you guys a little story. Um, uh, most of you know, but... Um, you know, I, I've been on my own since I was 13 years old, um, due to circumstances out of my control and my mom and dad were divorced and I ended up, um, this, this man shot himself in our house and I ended up being, um, displaced and having to go to another town and go to school away from everything and anything that I'd ever known. Right. And like my, like I said, my mom and dad were divorced and I always felt for some reason, like I wasn't enough because of that divorce. Like he raised these other children and didn't spend time with me and my sister yet. He raised these other children. They were me mentally, um, handicapped. And I always thought, what is wrong with me? That he doesn't want to spend any time with me, right? And, but that was, that was this little girl's mind, this little girl's perception of, <laughs> of the reason why my daddy left and didn't want to have anything to do with me, right? And, and that is so, um, you know, it messed me up all my life because, because like I said, I always felt lesser than. Or like I had done something wrong or I wasn't good enough or whatever, you know, when the reality of it was he was an alcoholic and, you know, my mom and him divorced and, and he got into another relationship, continued to be an alcoholic and just never found the time to be a good father. And, but that had nothing to do with me. And, but it took me a long time to, to realize and to you know, I mean, because I was so hurt. I was always jealous of the other little girls growing up that had a good relationship with their father because, oh, I, I, I longed for that relationship so much, right? And so, um, you know, I'm only telling you this to let you know that, um, you know, if you've been there, if you've been there in that situation, I've been there too. And there's so many, that's the reason why I'm taking this um, certification course to be able to come, to become a life coach because there's so many different things in my past that have made me have self-limiting beliefs and but now I know I know that um I am good enough and I you know it, none of that was my fault and but it the little girl in me was wounded you know, for a long time, I was very wounded over that. And it took, it took a lot to come to the other side of that. And so, um, but what this is teaching me is that in order for me able to, me to be able to be there and help other people, um, through to the other side of some of these things, like I had to take a deep look at myself and see if I truly was 
past or through that circumstance or if I needed to work on that more myself. And so I just wanted to share with you that, um, you know, sometimes things happen to us in life that are out of our control. But, but honestly, once, once we are an adult and we, we actually, we have to acknowledge that we have whatever problem that we have before we can heal and move on to the next or overcome that. Right. And so, so I just wanted to share that with you is that, um, through, through our mindset, we can overcome anything, you know, whatever happened to us in the past. Yes, it happened to us. And yes, our feelings are valid. But I was always the type of person that, like, if I wanted to hold on to a resentment, how dare you? How dare you try to take that from me, right? <laughs> when I didn't realize that by holding on to those resentments, I was doing nothing but hurt myself. It wasn't hurting the other person that I was holding the resentment against. And, and, you know, as a matter of fact, my father passed away many, 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 many years ago. Like, I want to say 30-some already by now. And um, it... I still hold in resentments and it certainly wasn't hurting him, right? Until I was finally able to take a look at the fact that I was holding resentments and that it was 